Hey, good morning and welcome to the City of Monterey Park. My name is Paul Talbot, I'm the City Manager. Uh, with me today, we've got Vice Mayor Hans Leong and Council Member Peter Chan. Um, and what we're trying to do is uh, do some outreach to the community and let them know about an update that the City Council has adopted relative to the shopping cart ordinance. Uh, as many of you are familiar with, um, shopping carts are, they're, they're a fixture throughout the community um, in places that they're not supposed to be. Um, and the, the shopping carts are not supposed to leave the property of the grocery stores. And so the, the city council um, took some, some actions over the last month to enhance that. So what I'd like to do is um, start with a call up Vice uh, Mayor Hans Leon to talk a little bit and then uh, Councilman Peter Chan will also talk about a little bit of the enforcement items. Thank you, Paul. Uh, greetings, everybody. Thank you for being here today for our press conference. My name is Hans Leong. I serve as the uh, Mayor Pro Tem Vice Mayor for the City of Monterey Park. Uh, as our city manager had said, uh, you know, with the issue that we're dealing with today and the reason that we're having this press conference is regarding uh, to uh, abandoned shopping carts in the city. And uh, as many people uh, know, uh, other cities, Rosemead, uh, recently uh, had updated their ordinances as well. So uh, uh, w one of our efforts uh, at this point or at this juncture is really to uh, promote education and to help uh, the residents and the shoppers uh, be more aware of what uh, the city's rules are regarding uh, the use of shopping carts and also uh, the rules regarding uh, them being removed from uh, the uh, shopping premises. So uh, we have um, uh, done some outreach efforts. We are uh, providing a signage uh, and uh, educational materials. There's some materials here today uh, for those of you in attendance that you can pick up here on the table. Uh, some of the signs that we're going to be using to inform the residents uh, and then also uh, this is really the first step uh, that we're doing. These signs are going to be, uh, since we have a diverse uh, uh, population here in Monterey Park, we're going to have the signs in English, uh, Chinese, and in Spanish. Uh, and there's going to be some other efforts um, that we are doing in terms of uh, having the, the shopping carts uh, retrieved um, and increasing uh, uh, the retrieval of these shopping carts. So um, what I'm going to have right now is I'm going to have Council Member uh, Peter Chan come up uh, to give some more details regarding uh, the uh, shopping cart ordinance that uh, we recently passed and to give you uh, more information uh, regarding um, what the expectations are and what the, what the rules are for the new ordinance. So uh, Council Member Peter Chan. Thank you and uh, good morning. And I'm here to talk about the uh, ordinance we just passed, and it's going to be effective starting, I think, in May 2nd or May 1st. Is May 2nd will be the starting of that ordinance, will be ineffective as of that day. Now, once I got into the, uh, into the council, got elected last March, and this is one of the uh, items that I've been working on for the whole year. And as we can see, all around town, and not just in Monterey Park, but all over San Gabriel Valley, the other cities, including Alhambra, San Gabriel, Rosemead, and other cities, has a lot of abandoned shopping carts. And this is not a good one because that will not good for the scenery. People come in and say, hey, so much uh, abandoned sh shopping carts around, and it's not good for the community, and it will decrease the value of our properties. And also, this will increase the cost of the shop, of the um, supermarkets or the shops that have shopping carts because they have to retrieve the carts, pay the companies to come to pick them up and every cart costs money and I talked to uh, some companies, some supermarkets and they said every month they spend at least over a thousand dollars just to get the carts retrieved. So this is not a good one but then for the, the people's side is that a lot of people misunderstand that they shop in a, in, for example, in a supermarket, get the um, groceries they want, and the cart is for the convenience, is part of the, uh, the shopping, but actually it's not. It's against the law. In the existing law, it's already against the law. It's a stealing. But the problem is that the market has to press charge, not the city. And this law that we passed, and it's going to be effect, to take effect in two days, is that the city can have enforcement on it. The co-enforcement and the police 
can give citations to the people who push the carts away from the premises of the markets or the shops. The first offense, when they see, when the cops or the uh, co-enforcement uh, stop the person who took the cart away, will be a warning. They will issue a ticket, but it's a warning. No charge, no nothing. But the second offense, same person will have a fine of $100, $100. The third offense within a year will be $250. The fourth offense will be $500 within a year, within the 12 months period. And if there's more offense after that, it can be a misdemeanor charge. And that will carry a six month jail time. That's the maximum in, can be imposed by the judge or and or $1,000 fine. So it's a pretty expensive violation. And the problem is, the thing that we want is not to penalize people. We don't want to take their money, but we want them to know it's an offense against the ordinance of the city. And hopefully with this in the books, people can aware that it's a crime to take the cards away from the premises. And it's not a convenience, it's a stealing on their part. So education is a big thing. So we will have brochures, we have posters, we have leaflets in all around the city, in the markets, in the parking lots, and even in different locations like the Langley Center, the Senior Center, or some other places that will put in all those uh, information. And it's in the cascades, in the uh, city's newspaper, and hopefully the press today, you can publicize this and let people know this is an offense. The reason for that, other than the, the good looking of the city, it also will, if keep on doing it, it will increase the cost of all the grocery because that's part of doing business. If they have to spend money in getting the cuts back, spend a few thousand dollars a month, that will increase the cost of the milk, the rice, the bread, the canned goods, vegetable, fish, anything. So that is not good too. So for the sake of everyone, for the city, for, for the good of everyone, for the market, and I hope everyone will understand this ordinance is not to penalize people, but to keep the city beautified, good looking, and also keep the costs of food the food costs down. That's the most important thing. So I think maybe the city manager at this time can answer any questions or, or anything you have in mind. And uh, so feel free to ask. So it's only the police officers who are authorized to uh, issue uh, ticket, uh, issue warnings and tickets, not the uh, security personnel of the market. Not the market. It'd be our code enforcement officials or the police officers. Uh, but anybody could issue a warning. So we have citizens on patrol and other groups that can issue uh, warnings. So certainly the, the security officers at the grocery stores, we encourage them to give the, the, the flyers that talk about that you're not allowed to take those. So that would be, you know, the, that's more of just a voluntary notice type of thing. How many sun cards have you so Today? Well, today I could tell you, I could tell you today they probably have picked up a couple hundred just this morning. <laughs> so there's 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 a couple of private companies that are out there patrolling every single day, and th that's a requirement of the sh the grocery stores is to to pick up. So it's just a cultural change that we have to get everybody to understand that you cannot go off of the shop the parking lot with a cart. Maybe. Uh, let me let me answer that questions too. Let me tell you one example. Once I, I leave the city hall, go back to my house that's only like five blocks away, and along the just on on Newmark and uh, Orange, I saw six abandoned carts just within the next the few blocks, and that's around five or six o'clock in the evening. So you can see how many carts there is. And when Rosemary discussed the, uh, their measure to, to uh, prevent uh, shopping carts being taken away from the market, actually, uh, Council Member uh, Sandra Amenta has uh, suggested that for, for people who, take, who are caught uh, taking the cart away from the market, um, 
they can choose between either uh, paying the fine or purchase a, 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 a their own shopping carts. So, is there any measure you're looking at to, I mean, just to provide a, an alternative, like either you can pay the fine or you buy a, a shopping cart for your own? That is not currently in the ordinance. It's a great suggestion. One of the things that we'll also do is have flyers of all the, the stores in town that sell the carts and encourage the use. Uh, again, our purpose is not to fine anybody. We're going to give a lot of warnings. And so, you know, the suggestion to the, give them a flyer and show some of the places that sell those carts, it's, it's more of this is the kickoff of more of a um, public relations type of program. We really don't want to be fining the, the residents and, and a lot of them are seniors and stuff that are using them so our goal is more of education. So far so no citation will you still let anyone take car go back? The, the first uh, the first notice is just a, a warning. Correct. So So uh, any people got citation or got a warning? Orally or written warning so far? Not yet. It goes uh, the first day that this is in effect is May 2nd. Um, but, you know, the other day we had an event here and I think we confiscated about 20 shopping carts from people that had come here to pick up items. So, again, if we see those, it's already part of the law. I mean, this ordinance has been in effect for many, many years. We're just kind of adding a little bit more teeth to it. So, um, you know, the ability to, to cite people is already there, but this new program and the enhanced measures start effective May 2nd. Will the police officer will have some uh, campaign like DUI campaign to spread out to find out the shopping cart? And well, I don't think you're going to see a, an enforcement like a DUI stop or something, but I mean, you're going to see, you'll see more active. Um, interaction with the, the people and we'll try to give them the, the warning notices. So the security personnel can uh, hold the, the residents? Yeah, the security. And they can call the city for uh, police or Correct. They, they could do that with under this, but they could do it today also. But the markets have not been, the markets have been part of the problem and part of the solution. They've been allowing the customers to take down their, that take their carts home. It's just kind of part of their business model. And so we're, we're working with the markets, and they understand the importance of not allowing that. And how much uh, did, the, did the city cost for the You know, the, there's, there's private contractors that all of the markets have that go out, and they have individual contracts with all the markets. Our time and effort is just when our staff, existing staff, goes out and picks them up, and then we store them at the city yard until the markets come pick them up. But, I mean, if... We could have people all day long picking up carts, which would cost the city and the taxpayer a lot of money. And, and just to elaborate on that, not only is there the uh, financial cost, but then there's also public safety uh, issues. If you have uh, carts strewn around, it can be dangerous for pedestrians, cars, and things like that as well. So not only financial, but also for safety reasons. Well, Victor, do you want um, can, you hold, can you also hold a flyer? Oh, hold the flyer. Oh. <laughs> Okay, here. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Good. Okay, that's her. <laughs>